Oh, hello everybody. Welcome to the most fun game number 22. It looks like almost the perfect almost the perfect TV advantage, isn't it? But unfortunately, he's got the wizard. He's got Norse. He's got 15 players, which is actually makes all the removal irrelevant basically. But he has lost more than he's won, so that's something. It was almost the perfect TV advantage, wasn't it? Almost the perfect one. 140 TV, he doesn't get better than that. But if he's got a wizard, it's bad times. Got a claw pommer, got a couple of guard, got a strength guy. The strength guy's really good, he just he really needs claw, doesn't he? He needs claw. This pestigore really needs two heads or dodge. Um, this one needs a million, a million SPPs to get claw pom. And I guess he might want to. He might want to go down the claw pom route as well. The, well, at least the claw mighty blow route, just for a bit more rowdiness. Yep, just started a crazy lemma. Yep. Um, I didn't. I didn't make them. Well, yes and no, Hessian. The the ones the initial batch were made by myself um, and Jamtos made one and I made the other three but um, RX Nubs is gonna is gonna have a look at making them all better and then um, and then what I might do is just redo them completely like you know um, that's, yeah that's the thing that's the thing Calcium it's um, it's a lot of games in it you're gonna need like don't know maybe I don't. I've, I don't know how the thing works, but maybe fourteen wins. If you go fourteen wins in a row, that'd probably put you top, wouldn't it, without any losses? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna look at. Um, basically, the th the three streamers that I want to look at are um, True Talent. Um, Cole Carnage and that that crazy guy with a with a tash and the and the wig, um, whatever he's called, and uh, and basically look at their emotes and look at the style of their emotes and get something somewhat similar. They're they're all quite similar. I think all three of their their emotes are all quite similar. And just look at how they do their streams. You know, like with the uh, with kind of like the background and everything. Like you know, the before the stream, after the stream, all that kind of stuff. Just make it all better. That's what I want to do. I want to make it all better. Yeah, that's the one, Dr. Disrespect, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, Wigtash. <laughs> he didn't take a wizard. Thanks, God. That's that's worked out pretty well, hasn't it? And that's worked out pretty well that he didn't take that. So that works out well. <laughs> I should have done it before, really, Hesse, and I should have done it before, you know, like, oh, all the, all the, all the, um, all the band, like, all the headers that I've got, you know, with all the, um, with all the just di different information and everything, I just did all that lazily. I did everything just kind of, like, lazily, and I've never really taken, <laughs> taken it as seriously as I should have done, but, um, now I'm going to go 100%, 100% dedication now that I'm partnered, yeah. Yeah, it's, I guess I obviously I should have gone one hundred percent dedicated to get partner. Um, then I would have probably been partnered six months ago or something. But never mind. Be better late than never, isn't it? <laughs> this fucking claw mighty blow guy, loving it. Oh man, he's got two mighty blow ulfs. He did take a babe and an apple, yeah. I think guard behind these to stop um to stop the blitzers. Is good, isn't it? Oh you can just blitz this way. So maybe go here. You can blitz the claw guy. You will blitz the claw guy. So I'll have him there then. Something like that. Yep, 
Yeah, <laughs> hello Pedro Jack. Yeah, that's... Thank you very much, Hesse. And that, that, that's the thing, it's like, it's brutal, because like, you get like, obviously it's amazing the, the, pe the, the what people have like, you know, donated and, um, you know, Patreon and everything. Like, it's, it's, it's completely blown my mind how much people have like donated and stuff and supported the stream, but it's like, that's the thing, isn't it? It's, it's, it's hard to do it when you're getting not a lot, isn't it? And then, so like, it's, yeah, as you say, it's a big commitment to like, like when Lupac was just doing it nine or five every day, 40 hours a week. That's a big commitment. And like, it is, it's, it's tough. And then it's, it's hardest when you're making the least, aren't, isn't it? Whereas like guys like Cole Carnage and that, no problem for him, is it? He can, he can, he can uh, absolutely hammer, hammer it. He can, he can dedicate his life to it because he gets, he gets crazy. He, you know, it's just crazy when once you're big, isn't it? And like, you know, obviously being Blood Bowl, I'll never really, I'll really never, I'll never be Cole Carnage big. But um, it's a hell of a matchup, yeah, Ducky. He does have 15 players, which means that the, um, the attrition route is not going to be such a successful one but luckily he chose a babe and an apple instead of a wizard his record isn't very good um you know he's got an armor seven bash team so you know thank you joe so i'm gonna try like you know like lupac lupac's tried hasn't he with a h1z1 and stuff to um to uh to expand a bit, it would be good, wouldn't it? I'll never, I'll never stop playing Blood Bowl, <laughs> you know, of, of course. But um, I was going to say unlike Fash, but then he was streaming last night, and it was a bit, it was a bit nasty. I'm going to try and not be as nasty. Yeah, and they might be good for SPPs, seeing as I don't have a lot of claw. It's nice to be playing against Armor Seven, but you, you just never know, do you? Fucking Norse, Norse have a tendency to never get fucking knocked over, and when they do, they tend to not fucking die. But yeah, the, the, hopefully there'll be some SPPs. What's this? He's taken Nos. He's taken Nos on a thrower. He's taken a thrower. He's taken two throwers and taken Nos on them both. Are they doubles? Are they doubles? Uh, is he actually taking doubles? Is he taking doubles on Nos throwers? Oh my god. A reaction YouTuber. <laughs> um, okay, still 11 players at the moment. Two normals, I was going to say, fucking hell. Ah, oh, so, so... Are you sure, Ducky? So, so... Pro elf catches start with two du start with a double. That's wild. Become a dedicated crusader to the lost title stream. <laughs> oh man, maybe he's nasty then. Oh, there you go. No, 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 no. <laughs> Players down turn one instantly. No turns with eleven players yet. <laughs> Win for the day, Blood Bowl House. There's more views than your matches. <laughs> Maybe something else in New Kurgo. I guess that's not going to happen, but. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I saw that, I saw that VIP scout here. I was. Um, I'm, I'm stuck, though, doing a fucking get to level 360, which. Maybe I shouldn't have tried yet. <laughs> um. Maybe I should use all the buffs that I've got and the um, open loads of chests and stuff because I'm I'm on two hundred I'm low to level two hundred and ten right now. Thing is, if you get level three hundred, you get to spend more idols, don't you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. VIP down the this. No turns with um. Oh, all right, you just did a pass for no reason. That's interesting. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So could double GFI to pick the ball up. 
and then could slam him in there. Well, he he could he could blitz. If I pick the ball, I'll just get blitz though. So it's better to blitz him, isn't it? I don't want to pile on though. He could just come in and blitz him. Blitz this one to place more guys. No, I'm just going to do this blitz. Do a tactical blitz. Don't overcommit. Maybe it should have manned him. The fact he's got two guys o over there. But I've got a stun, haven't I? Maybe I'll man's him next turn. Oh, Phil, pick up in the crowd. All right. <laughs> yeah, that is that bloody game, Hessian. Yeah, I quite like it. I quite like that game that you play AFK. Ah, oh, so the fact he wasn't he wasn't a he wasn't a lunatic passing then. He just failed to pick up. All right, well, still might man's him next turn anyway. I don't. I just hate manzing because, although it's like effective at winning this particular game, um, it's dangerous, isn't it? I don't want to give up more blocks than I have to. I really don't want to give up more blocks than I have to. I wanna, I wanna win every game. Of course, that that's number one objective is win every game, but. I don't have to win every game. What I have to do is take as few casualties as possible on the positionals. So I just have to um I just have to limit blocks. That's that's the only consideration I think. Yeah, but I mean that that's impossible, isn't it really ducky? They're always they're always going to be at least going to be able to crack it for a one dice or something. Yeah, exactly. They can always cr they can always crack in with at least a one dice. They're, you know, it's it's very rare that your opponent like well, I damn it. <laughs> I had a game on um, on Fumble actually where I had where I had like you know guard spam guard and mighty blow spam lizard men against um, against chaos. And he just couldn't make a he couldn't make a one dice, which was funny. The match is is um, is 160 TV advantage for me. Um, 160 TV advantage. He didn't go with a wizard. He went with um, a baby and an apple. Yeah, but I don't care about my AV8 guys, do I? All I care about is my positionals, that's it. So I'm just going to... I'm going to try to win every game, of course. But my main consideration in every game is going to be keeping my players safe. He's not even going for the pickup. Alright, he is with a, with a berserker. Alright, fair enough. It is a bit risky. It's always a bit risky. Against anybody, it's a bit risky, isn't it? Hmm. 
Oh god, that wasn't very clever, was it? He's got to go here to protect him. Fuck that up. I should have had the beastman out here. He's going to get blitzed, isn't he? Banged on. <laughs> yeah, they're blitzed to level up the warrior. Plus he was the only who he was the only one in reach in range. He was the only one in range. This guy was too far away. This guy wouldn't have been able to go back after the blitz. So I thought better to him not go back after the blitz. Because um, he's armor 9 with foul, foul appearance. Should have said that, shouldn't I? I should try and speak more now that I'm a professional. But yeah, that was that was why. That was why I blitz with him. If I, I mean, I passed out the blitz with him, didn't I? But that was the thing. If I blitz him, then he gets, he. Get, it's possible for him to get hit. I want to. I just don't want him to get hit. Not against Norse, who I should beat with my eyes closed and hands tied behind my back. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Norse! I hate them. <laughs> I hate them. I absolutely hate hate them. But yeah, he's hitting the guard, isn't he? Unfortunately, that was. I should have put this guy, maybe GFI'd with him a couple of times, or just once, or moved him up there. But I didn't want him to get blitzed. Wouldn't have minded the wrestle fender getting blitzed. Oh, the carrier's got sure hands. Um. So, like, it would be nice if you got dodge or two heads, but, um, I'll just say two heads. SH is, I guess, that like two heads. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Somebody gets blocked, gets KO'd. That's, uh, pretty standard. But, yeah, that was my, that was my fault. I should have, um, I should have, should have put him there. It wasn't even Mighty Blow. I should have I should have either GFI'd with him or moved him up. <laughs> but he would still be But then it would just mean they would have got hit and knocked out. Down two players now against an armor seven bash team. Why not, eh? Why not? Current emoticons are all pending still. Right, get a block back there. Could like four plus hit the ball. It's not even bad, is it? If that's a pal. Could blitz him then block him, but he's dauntless still. But I don't want anyone to give up a block against him. So yeah, I guess oh, I'll blitz this guy with a guardian. But then yeah, I can't get the guardian, so I'd have to be blitz this guy. So therefore, might as well deal with this guy. Good. Good. Yeah, in before dodge fell into dead. But a four plus for two dice wouldn't be that bad, would it? It wouldn't. It's not even bad. Just 
Just cower. Cower from blocks. Maybe we should have moved this guy diagonally forward. Thing is though, like you know, against against this chap who's won three, lost six. And he's got Norse. And I've got a TV advantage. I think it's right not to make that four plus play. But if I was playing against Ducky with this Norse team, maybe it would be right to go for that four plus dodge to hit the ball, you know? You just don't know, do you? It's situational, it's not it's not um there's no hard and fasts. Frenzy <laughs> Frenzy Cork Fast Blaster, yeah that's awesome. Wrestle wrestle down is um is mighty blow. That's good, isn't it? It is good wrestle. It is nice when you sh wrestle shitheads, get hit by a good player, and you wrestle him down. Wrestle is a nice skill for a shithead. Is he going for a handoff? Minus one, isn't it? Foul appearance. What a madman. <laughs> Can at least put a tackle zone on the ball. No, I can't. Not really. Because this dead body's in the way, isn't it? Just block him and blitz him. So now it's a three plus to go and mark the ball. But why why would I do that? It doesn't make any sense, does it? I should put guard up there, maybe. Instead of just having him doing fucking not well, protecting him a bit. Yeah, don't you make four plus rolls? Your opponent does it for you. Yeah, <laughs> crazy, isn't it? The mighty pub stomper. Yeah, well that's the that's the thing, isn't it? Like you've got to um, you can only play what's put in front of you. But he's out bashing me still. There should be a bison emote, shouldn't there, fuck's sake. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> Bang on. He gets to block him though. Yeah, I'm just trying to not have my players killed. And if it means that I draw some games that I should have won, or lose some games that I should have drawn, I'm I'm just not that bothered, I think, at this stage. Hey. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> Unfortunately, that doesn't give me a ride, does it? Because he fucking tripped up. He didn't get blocked. Bastard. No, blocked or fouled. Oh, he's still injured. I've never heard that oh, before. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> right, so I've got to blitz oh. this one, haven't I? Because I can't blitz him. Oh, I could blitz the mighty blow one. Oh, I can block him. There's only one guard piece, though. Could foul him with plus one. Could blitz him and foul him with plus two. Got strip, hasn't he? That could be a pain in the ass. He's where the blitz is coming from though next. Well, here or here. You could go there with a the guard there. And then just mans. So do a bit of mansing. No assist foul on a mighty blow jump up. Doesn't seem great, does it? Yeah. The record is 17-3-1, Miraz do. So, yeah, that's the thing. I can afford quite a few. I'm already top with, like, 20 games in hand. So, yeah, I've just got to not have a ridiculous run of results. So, just trying, trying to just play it. Absolutely the safest, safest games that I can in terms of survivability. Frenzy trapping himself. Let's hope he's punished. No, of course not. When's that ever happened, eh? I mean, this is why. This is why it pisses me off that, like, okay, there's no Kaz this game, right? But how have I been so outbashed when all I've been trying to do is outbash my opponent? I could have gone for the ball so many times. <laughs> Haven't made. Haven't made any play for the ball <laughs> whatsoever. Just trying <laughs> to get blocks in. Not really twitch it to, it just means they bash whoever's putting the ball pressure on. He could block him, then he could block him, except there's no assist, so he'd have to blitz him, and then him block him, then him block him. Yeah, that works, doesn't it?
right, so now he's got to come in here. So he can block him. Yeah, good job he made that dodge. I mean, now it's he's probably going to be probably just going to score with this guy. Um, he can get away, can't he? He can get away because I went up to make this block. Could have just marked him with a strength four guy, obviously, and not made this block. But I'm just scared of getting outbashed. <laughs> three down, three three off each. But he's got four reserves, and I've got two. Just random knockouts. <laughs> random knockouts happen being hit. <laughs> Nose of steel would be very useful, yeah. Or chin of steel. Unfortunately, the ignoring threat is real. Don't have enough warriors to cover the disturbing presence anymore. If I was trying, if I was going all out to win, I would have probably gone for a hit on the ball earlier. Somehow. Oh, great! He hits my most valuable player. Maybe I should have left him down on the ground. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Pedro Jack, yeah. <laughs> Precision Frenzy Trap Blitzers. Oh, man. Get banged on. He didn't even GFI with this guy, with his one scoring threat. Disturbing presence. Got him. Good. And he's probably like, but I have nerves of steel. All right, so I've got to blitz this guy, haven't I? So I'll just make an irrelevant block first. <laughs> Get him there. GFI to hit. Go with the Wrestle Blitz then. No touchdown. The good old one DB pal. Alright. Pow. 
pass a nega trait once again, yeah. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? It's funny the the stupidity of pass. Wrestle pretty good, yeah. Oh, oh no, these two are LOS. The other LOS guy has been KO'd. But they've run they've randomly done some stuff, the LOS guys, haven't they, with their wrestle? Dodging the ball now, I don't want to take hits on my armor nine, Pedro Jazz. That's the um that's that's all I'm trying to do. I've got the cheeky chance of the scoring threat should something crazy happen. You just make a two dice into a one. -er. That's the pal. I think it'd be good if foul, foul appearance didn't work against other foul appearance teams, like or other foul appearance players. Because it's a bit silly that Nurgle Warriors get too repulsed to block another Nurgle Warrior. Bit crazy, isn't it? Rando Dodge. No problem. Make the dodge fail the pickup to get served into death. That's a very good point, I don't think of this, yeah. Just gonna make the pass, is he? Minus one on it still. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> um, so... That's just giving us a free chance. I guess pass it to this guy. Um, and then he does the handoff. It's probably better, isn't it? Can't make any blocks or blitzes or anything if I use this guy. If I don't use this guy, he comes here and I get to blitz him. So it's whether I need to use that guy or not. I don't know the range of a long bomb. Also, there's no interception chance on it. Could double GFI it. I reckon that's going to be in range. So, on that basis, I'm going to make a claw palm hit. Well, palm hit. Nothing. Roll the five, so I should have used the other guy. But then he could have intercepted, so... No. Warrior's back. Alright. Alright, eleven versus eleven. Nil nil. Going for the one nil grind, yeah. Thank god he didn't have a wizard. I guess I, you know, I'm I'm sure it was the correct play to um But even then it gives him the intercept chance, so it's not a cut and dried. And you know that 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 blitz could have killed his um his mighty blow guy, which is what I'm most worried about. Taking mighty blow hits. I didn't want to foul that half with having the three guys out. So I don't mind not fouling the dirty player. Four out of no balls. Fingers crossed. All of my players have claw for free this game. <laughs> so... Like, that's the thing people say, like, ah, well, against Armour 7, your claw TV's wasted, and it's like, well, yeah, but on the other hand, all of my guys have claw. He's missed next game, Mr. Mohacker, so it's, 
it's all right. Yeah, yeah, probably, probably VIP. Don't know, Kellis. And the, and the thing is, look, it was really close. It was a five plus, three plus, two plus instead of a six plus, and I couldn't re-roll the two plus because, like, you know, that's the thing, isn't it, with the intercept chance? And you can't do anything about it. So maybe I moved him too far over there. Maybe I should have made him closer because I, you know, but I wanted to not have the chance to get him removed, but maybe that chap wasn't going to remove him anyway. Could blitz him, couldn't I, with a pom? Could be good. Um, four, five, six, so get an assist in there. Get an assist in there, Blitz. So I want the Wrestle Fender to give the assist over there. Yeah, the rot has got a claw, yeah, randomly. <laughs> Random. Come on, get a, get a fucking Kaz here. Giving me three dice. <laughs> Giving me three dice blocks all the way is pretty good, isn't it? Pretty nice of him. Oh, I couldn't I need to make that but I didn't want to block with a guy without a block, but now it means I've got to make a fucking GFI. He might foul now, might he? Completely unprotected. Maybe I shouldn't have made the pile up. Maybe I shouldn't have made that blitz, eh? Leaving, leaving my pommer completely unprotected. Talk us through this offensive setup. <laughs> All men's on the line. Just get some three dice blocks, and then, and then make a pom blitz. I mean, the pom blitz is risky because I don't have the um. I didn't have the men to protect the foul, did I? Right, that was one turn with eleven players, so I can't. I can't complain. He's going to make the. He's, I think he's contemplating the dodge and two GFIs to burst the ball. Really pissed off he didn't get his free dice knockdown and Kaz for the for the level. And because I didn't get that knockdown. Uh, Yeah, gave up. Gave up that block. I should have just blocked him with a without block. But he's getting hit by mighty blow next turn. So I guess it's a bit of a trade-off, isn't it? He gets to blitz him. I 
I like the wrestle fender here. Not really, no, Omadon, just um just this guy. He they did knock out three, but luckily two the two warriors came back that were knocked out. Um two cars, one caused by himself dodging. Um so Okay. Mighty blow block. See what happens, nothing. Standard. He probably can't blitz now then. Maybe he could blitz him. Yeah, okay, he blitzes him. No knockdown. Block without block has to be made. Nothing. Follow up because the jump up. He has to go there to at least, at least, at least dissuade the blitz there. Get a guard in to protect the strength fall. Guess not worth standing this guy up. Or doing anything with him, he'll just have to get knocked down by Mighty Blow. I guess he protects stuff a little bit, doesn't he, by getting up? No, I could have one deed him. Hmm. <laughs> I'm like trying to assault someone with a limp carrot. It really is Amadon, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and like that's the thing, you know. That uh, good morning, Tony plays poorly. That that's the thing with their with their block on everybody. It is quite good defensively at higher TVs, isn't it? Like it's it's not good defensively at low TVs, really, because people aren't going to take those both downs anyway. They're they're just gonna or it's going to be a turnover. So it doesn't like if your opponent double skulls or double downs at low TV, it doesn't really matter, does it? It still ends their turn. But at higher TV, the block does start to shine on, on all of the Norse. Yeah, Clive Owen demonstrated how how deadly the, uh, a, a rock-hard carrot can be. <laughs> yeah, I hate the small... The small fucking oafs are terrible, aren't they? Goblins that are strength four. What the fuck? Who on earth thought that was a good idea? No, oh, well, at least he didn't get a knockdown. Two. Oh, he greeds it. <laughs> greeds a non mighty blow blitz. Let's see what happens. Of course it's not. Of course it's a removal. I mean. You know, things like that. I didn't get the knockdown, so I didn't get the pile on. He blitzes back. Needs a dauntless roll that gets two dice. Gets a removal. I'm down players on my drive, despite having mighty blow blocks and pom blocks against nothing. It just blows my mind. There's just nothing you can do, is there? Nothing you can possibly do. All I've done is try to fight. I haven't tried to play well whatsoever the entire game. All I've done is try to fight, and I've been outbashed. It's crazy. It's just fucking crazy.
found another one. Yeah, why not? Two blocks for removal and a stun. Well done. Oh, one dice score, that's fair. It's actually fair. Fucking mind mind bogglingly fair there. Is this really is this really a game of blood ball? One die skull punished? Unbelievable. He's mighty blow, but obviously get blocking the rotters okay. I only care about the positionals. He could block him. He could block him. He could go in there for the assist. And then he could blitz him with mighty blow. Seems fair. On the other hand, he could block with block, and then he can go one, two, three, four, five, six. So okay, so make this block first. Then I get to knock both of them down, and don't have to give up a mighty blow block. Don't even give a fuck about where the ball is. <laughs> Fash save. <laughs> Okay, now the ball. Good enough as it turns out. <laughs> Cause it's a fourth down, eh? <laughs> Alright, good. That was a good turn of stuns, wasn't it? Two stuns there. Three stuns. Three stuns. No armor break with a mighty blow. Can he run around here? and Maybe. Maybe this is required. And obviously this guy's going to dodge around. Oh no. This guy. Yeah, he did do more damage to his own team than my Elo piling on from my team. That's absolutely true. Good morning, Aladane. Yep, first first game. Yep. I think you saw the same picture as me, Morbid Orbit's crazy in it, all the original all the original plants. Next turn I might foul that. Berserker. Jump up's a bit annoying, isn't it? So now I think I'm probably men up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Even players. Men down. <laughs> <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, even players for a, for a for a turn. <laughs> Just fuck off! <laughs> fuck off! <laughs> fuck off with your armor, fucking seven bash team. That all I've tried to do is out bash for the entire game. Jesus Christ!
So that's the ball kind of safe. Is it in range? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. Shit. Unbelievable, Jeff. Block without block working. Have to follow, don't I, to get the assist in for this foul. Plus two with DP. So I right, sent off for a KO is fine, I guess. Especially he's going to jump up mighty blow blow. <laughs> Cyanide are the highest quality game creators ever. Cyanide are the greatest quality game creators ever. Cyanide are the highest quality game creators ever. All right, hopefully that will work. Eight versus nine now, isn't it? Guard's in a good spot, isn't he? He's given the guard assist to the jump up block. He's stopping him getting the assist here. Obviously, fend so he doesn't get surfed. Guards protecting the strength four here. <laughs> yeah, I've done it again. <laughs> Yeah, this is an anger management exercise, really, isn't it? It's all it is. I don't know. There's... Oh. oh my god, I fucking love that. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sound Stew, too. Thank you very, very much for the subscription. Fingers and ears. Is it too loud, or do you just don't like the song? Um... Thank, oh wow, he double won the Dauntless. Never reroll the Dauntless, guys. Never reroll the Dauntless. Pro tip. Thank you very much for the subscription. Thank you very, very much. Welcome to Team Fantastic. And now you are truly fantastic. <laughs> right. What can I do here? Mighty Blow Blitz on him. Nah, but I can block him. Mighty Blow Blitz on him to break through. And then block everyone else. Mighty Blow Blitz on him. Block him first. He's letting me block everybody, isn't he? So, let's see what happens. Only one more. Or no, two more, I think. Two more subs required for the, um, for extra emotes. The emotes are on their way. Um, right, do I just block with him then? Do I go here and then block with him? Do I one dice block here? Because I could serve him, couldn't I? If I, get, if I get the push to here, do I one dice here to then get the surf in? On a push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I go here and it's a power, follow, and then blitz there. Yeah, okay. I'll be greedy. Because we all know greed is good. Okay, it's not that bad. Because now the blitz comes in here, doesn't it? Oh, 
we should blitz from this angle. The spell might have worked. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I should have powered that guy. <laughs> yeah, it's true, VIP doesn't the cover. He gets frenzy trapped, let's see, let's see what happens, eh? Will he get punished? No, of course it doesn't. Thank you very much for the, um, for the host, Shawnee. Yep, indeed, you know. I knew, I knew he'd, I knew he'd take the frenzy trap and... Hopefully, he would get punished. <laughs> Come on, are you like a massive shit in Sims? A toilet breaking, disgusting shit. The, the state of the toilets after you'd been, oh man. Sickening. Yeah, the good thing is, if I just have to make the two GFIs to score, I can. Well, I say I can. I can attempt them. <laughs> I can attempt the two GFIs if I have to. Not saying I can make them, of course. Not tempting fate that much. Still eight versus nine, isn't it? Not just shithead. No, he's the winner. He's the winner of, um, he's the winner of Streamer House, Big Brother. Fend, <laughs> get surf next turn, dickhead. <laughs> oh, look at Fend doing a thing. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. The Fend has been pretty good. He's been able to stand there, hasn't he, against the frenzy where normally I wouldn't have been able to keep somebody there. The Fend has actually been top notch this game. Where will he push here? This is interesting. <laughs> actually helping me. <laughs> actually, actually helping me. That's brilliant. Right. Okay, the first thing that has to happen is this has to be a serve. Okay, oh, good. Fen, Fen was crazy, wasn't it? He can block him. He can block him. Then he's got. There's two guys to stop to protect the ball. Hmm. Let me just go here, actually. My God! <laughs> no, no! I didn't even stand this guy up. I mean, that was my bad play not standing him up. But fucking hell, man! Fucking hell! How can play someone play this bad? How can someone play this bad and be rewarded? Oh man! His blitz moved my guy into the perfect position. Wow. 
It's not even salt, it's just fucking desperation. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. <laughs> don't even bother getting an assist, you don't need one, buddy. Yeah, pal. Fuck off. <laughs> Pal him too, he sure mighty blow on my heavy head. Yeah, no, the power doesn't matter for um Yeah, the power push doesn't matter. I just like to take power for the um for like you know the make it look nicer. It is it aside though, isn't it? Still. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it is it eight aside, so it's not lost. <sighs> you know, he's getting surfed next turn on one dice blocks. You just don't get the chance to injure before the crowd gets a chance. Tony plays poorly. It just goes straight to um, it just goes straight to injury. Grim, isn't it? I think I blitz this and then go for the dodge score. Level up for him at the end of the match. Thank fuck there's rotters in this team. Thank God, thank God these rotters are like the best rotters anyone has ever had. Holy shit. He was much better than a zombie there, wasn't he? With that um, 3 plus dodge, 3 plus pick up 2 plus instead it would have been 4-4-2-2. Four, four, two, two. With a zombie, but only a three three two for him. He rolled four four though on the things. <laughs> Next time just go with it. With them, yeah, it's true, isn't it? It's actually true, Clopom guy has just done nothing. He's done nothing, but the other guy's just like what up? Greed is 
And I guess protect him a little bit more, protect him a little bit more. Put the guards in to really protect them. Gaping hole here now, but then the strength falls that side, so it's not so bad. Thank you, Logan the Great. Doing his best to throw the game. I did do my best to throw the game all, all game long. All I've tried to do is outfight him. And, like, I mean, I guess I have, really, at the end, only because he filled all three. Um... But it was all I cared about was trying to outbash him. <laughs> yeah, John Toad. I'm still ill as fuck. I've got no idea Mraz could do. I've never I've never even thought about the possibility of getting a, a rotter to their third skill. I mean I'd like to say retirement if this guy gets a third one, but I guess I've got to keep him now, haven't I? If he does. No, I think it is Ducky. I, th I mean, I know what you're saying. Look, I mean, it kind. Of, I know what you're saying. You know, I'm trading it one mighty blow blitz per turn. We both get to make. You know, I get to make a claw pump. Well, a claw pump blitz, and he gets to make a mighty blow blitz. Whereas if I based everybody, sure the turn might be bad, but then overall my guard and strength advantage would tell, and I would get more. But I would just be giving up more blocks first. I didn't, didn't want to do it. The game against Muller, I wasn't trying to fight him. I knew I was getting banged on the game against Muller. I wasn't trying to fight him that game. Mull did not base me to have a fight. Mull did the absolute hit and run limited hits. I mean, that is exactly... The biggest example of the game against Mull is how keeping men out of tactic was the way to fight somebody because Mull kept his guys out of contact. So it worked for Mull, didn't it? Worked perfectly for Mull. Not really, you're still going to give a blitz every turn. But of course, yeah, if you, you know, if you put, if you do put all your men in contact, then... Uh, that, that's the great, that's the thing that Skaven have, isn't it? All Mull has to do is just fight on his terms for a half. He gets to completely ignore the ball, while the opponent still has to focus on ball ball protection. If he's got a wizard, they still got to focus on ball protection, and and he doesn't need to care at all about stopping a score or anything. He just has to get claw pump hits and fouls in, and run away. But yeah, yeah, of course. But then the thing is, if you do man up on offense, he just fucking bolts and scores, and you lose anyway. So like. Uh, especially in my match when he had like five reserves or whatever, four reserves. Uh, it's just, it's just who, who knows, you know. Rats are the perfect team to try and man up against you. If he didn't have the wizard, and if he hadn't, and if it hadn't been a deep kick with a wizard, I would have probably, maybe I would have tried to tee off like you. Like obviously you, Ducky got a tee off on that guy in the, um, in the champ ladder final. Um, he didn't even go for a score, which is good, isn't it? So I guess what do I do? Just block him and blitz somebody. I mean, Nor Norse and Skaven are completely different. You can't, you can't compare the two. You can't compare the two at all, Ducky. I'm sorry, but that's just dumb if you're even thinking of comparing Skaven to Norse and how you've got to play against them. <laughs> this guy was had no threat of stealing my 
my ball whatsoever. Whereas Mo, it was terrifying because he's got like agility five, he's got wrestle, he had a wizard. It was terrifying the pressure that that Mo was able, the threat that he had that was able to go onto my ball on any given turn was insane from anywhere on the pitch because Gut runs a movement nine. So he was able to just have a fight over here yet still force me to turn on score seven because he just moves his whole team over there and he goes, hello, what up, I've got a whiz. And I'm like, fuck. So... I mean, I'm sorry, that's just... Okay, I didn't have agility five. Movement, sorry. Agility four with two heads. He just blocks without even his mighty blow guy gets a Kaz. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... I'm not like look it's obvious what Ducky's saying yes if you've got the strength advantage and the guard advantage if you go all men's it's a scary it's scary at first but you have the potential to dominate I understand that obviously I understand that I haven't been playing this game for 26 years and haven't understood that but the thing is it's still safer to only give up one mighty blow bits every turn than it is to not he's not making gang fouls okay he's making a gang foul this turn but against Mull, it was it was you can't even compare them. Plus, he was Mull was making a claw palm blitz and a dirty player foul every single turn, which is completely different to this. I definitely don't think my style was optimal. I wasn't trying to just fight against Mull. If I was trying to just fight against Mull, I would have forgotten the ball, lost six nil, or seven nil, and and I would have I would have gone all men's. <laughs> I would have absolutely gone all men's to fight Mole because he only had the one claw palmer that I was scared of. But this guy's got three mighty blow, and he's got ab he gives no shits about making one dice blocks. Anyway, I still beat him, as as scary as it was. Did make a lot of KOs, but so did he. He made he made six KOs and one injury off thirty eight blocks and ten AV breaks, and not even. Not even trying to win, but still won. That's good, isn't it? Now the big question is mighty blow or guard, isn't it? Like, guard's the obvious choice. But then on the other hand, I want to kind of rush to claw mighty blow. But I guess this guy's just as close to claw mighty blow, isn't he? 23. 23 away, whereas he'd be 15 away. So they're already close to how how close they are to getting Claw Mighty Blow. I guess the chance... What's the chance of him making it to Claw and Guard? I guess I, guess I just go Guard because it's good, isn't it? It's good. And I don't want to be down Guarders. Yeah, could get a Pestigore. Could get the fourth Pestigore now. Hmm. Need to think. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.